Volume One, Chapter One: Disappearing Water. Oh no! There is no more water. Mr. Furry looks at the empty bucket. Mr. Furry always gets water from the well, but today he couldn't get any water from the well. But the well always has water. Riggy spoke worriedly. Forest animals drink lots of water every day. All the animals need water. But town forest is becoming very dry, and there is no more water in the ponds. There is no more water in the lakes. There is no more water in the wells. The animals became very thirsty, so some animals drank dirty water and got sick. Lazy Bear drank mud water and got sick too. Only Mr. Furry, Riggy, Mr. Tomato Frog, and Hippo Me were not sick. So, the animals asked Mr. Furry, Riggy, Mr. Tomato Frog, and Hippo Me to find water. Mr. Furry thought there was some water left in the well, but Mr. Furry, Riggy, Hippo Me, and Mr. Tomato Frog found no water. What do we do? What do we do? Lazy Bear is dying. Mr. Furry shook his head and started crying. Hey, hey, hey! Pull yourself together. Stop crying now. You always cry. You are always crying, and I hate it. Mr. Tomato Frog hit Mr. Furry on the head. Mr. Furry looked at Mr. Tomato Frog. His mouth opened in surprise. You, you are mean. You always say bad things to me. I don't like. Mr. Furry and Mr. Tomato Frog argue. Stop! There's no time to fight," said Hippo Me in a quiet voice. Yes, Hippo Me is right. Let's sit down and think. Riggy pointed to a big rock. Then Riggy told everyone to sit down. So everyone sat down on the big rock. Hmm," said Riggy. Phew," sighed Hippo Me. Ribbit," said Mr. Tomato Frog. "Oh, poor Lazy Bear," said Mr. Furry. They are all thinking about Lazy Bear. They knew Lazy Bear didn't have much time. They have to find water fast.